So here's the question for the day. Who of you think of yourselves as holy? Right? Go ahead. What are we afraid to think of ourselves as holy? Really, is it is it because we're afraid we would be prideful if we thought of ourselves as holy? God commands the Israelites to be holy as he is holy. It's not a suggestion. It's a command. So why is it that we have difficulty thinking or considering ourselves to be holy? Now, to be fair, if you look up the definition of holiness in the Catholic Dictionary, it says, holiness is a characteristic trait of God which completely separates him from the profane. Wow. Okay, we'll unpack that a minute. That really means God's nature is so transcendent from ours. It is so different from ours. It is so completely different than ours. Well, then how is it that God asks us to be something holy, to be holy like he is holy, when that seems to be outside of our nature? He does so through his grace through his sanctifying and his actual grace. He gives us the ability to live in accordance with his will, to love him with all of our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. That's what it means to be holy. Now, none of us in any of our traits that we have is ever perfect. Professional athletes at the top of their game are not perfect at their skill. They make lots of mistakes. Artists, and musicians, they strive for perfection, never really attaining it. At one point in our life, Monica and I got the opportunity to hear Itzhak Perlman. How many of you know him? Hey, that's pretty good. Better than 430, you know. <laughs> Itzhak Perlman is one of the world's foremost virtuoso violinists. The man on top of all of the violinists in the world. And someone asked him, how often do you practice? <clears throat> and he said, I practice four hours every day, except on the days of concerts. Then I practice five. And after that, I play every note of that concert in my mind. So I have it down. Then I go and I play the concert. And after the concert, I come home and I practice for two hours to make up for all of the mistakes that I made in that concert. The world's foremost virtuoso violinist is not perfect at his art. So, in our effort to become holy, 
We need to just strive to holiness. We need to not expect us to be totally perfect in holiness, but to strive to holiness. You know, Itzhak Perlman is still a violinist and the greatest violinist we know, even though he isn't perfect at playing the violin. So God enables us with his sanctifying grace. He journeys with us on that journey to holiness. He has been with us since our baptism, since he enabled us with his sanctifying grace to be his adopted sons and daughters, to be holy as he is holy, and he walks with us till he perfects us as we enter into heaven. That's how we're holy. That's how we become holy. So this week, we begin a most wonderful opportunity to strive in our growth of holiness. Lent begins on Wednesday. And it's a time that the church sets aside for us really to focus on how is it that I am loving God more deeply and profoundly? How is it that I can sacrifice my wants and desires to meet the needs of my neighbor? So God, he calls us to be holy. He wants us to be holy, but he doesn't want us to fail at that holiness. He is always with us in that journey. We need to take advantage of that. And holiness itself is not reserved for just those who are in a religious vocation. The church throughout its history has had thousands of saints who are both religious and lay people attain holiness and in heaven. That's what a saint is. So as we enter into this week, we need to really take advantage of it and really think deeply about how it is we can become holy as God desires us to be holy. And we should strive to make holiness a trait that characteristically defines who we are. 